Hey! So this video was filmed a couple months ago. I wasn't sure whether to upload it or not, but then I decided it would be interesting to see how confused I was at the time. I also filmed my first day of school, so let me know if you'd be interested in watching that video or if it's just too late, like way too late to upload it. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get to it. Hey guys, it's Marjorie. So that would never not be a weird phrase to say to the camera. For today's video, I am going to be doing a little prepare with me for my senior year of high school because my senior year of high school is really, really soon. The first day of school for me is August 31st and today is August 27th, 2020. So I have four days until school starts, which I think is pretty soon. I still don't fully know what my schedule is going to look like. So that will be interesting. I don't know when I'm going to find that out. In order to properly prepare for the first day of school, I have made a list of things that I want to get done before school starts. I am hoping to get as much of the stuff on the list done as possible, but I will totally be okay with not getting all of it done because some of the things are just some basic stuff that I already do, like working out and putting on face masks. So if you are interested in seeing what I'm going to be doing, just keep on watching. One of the first things that I'm going to be doing is just cleaning my room because my room is a hot mess right now. I have not been the best at keeping it clean. Recently, I've just been throwing things wherever I want and just not making my bed at all, which is not the best thing for me because I tend to be very unproductive when I don't make my bed. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't know how I didn't even notice how... I didn't even notice how messy it was. It's really bothering me. I'm gonna clean. Okay, so this is what my desk is currently looking like and it does not look pretty. Just a quick little overview of my room so you guys can see how messy it actually is. Baby, 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 baby. You're driving me wild, you're driving me so crazy. Got me acting out, got me trying to stay so me trying to stay so the next thing is creating my cyber academy account i'm not quite sure how that works i just know that about two days ago i got an email from the cyber academy basically telling me that i can now create my account i have to look at orientation slides because apparently i missed the orientation which no one emailed me about or even mentioned to me they luckily did have a recording of that and they sent an email saying that we missed it we have slides that we can read and videos that were pre-recorded and we can just look at that so i had to do that and hopefully maybe once i create my account i can also see my courses for back to school my school offered three different learning ways routes pathways the first one is a hybrid learning which is where we go into the building for two days and then the other three days are online the second one is e-learning which is online with teachers from my actual school it's fully online but then we also are able to give a two weeks notice on when we feel comfortable going back and doing hybrid or if they ever do fully go back then we would be able to go back and we do e-learning and then the third one the one that i chose was the cyber academy the cyber academy is something that they had even before the whole pandemic started it is an actual online academy I chose it just because it's more self-paced and I like working individually. Also, my eye is starting to sting. I don't know why. Another thing is that my computer is kind of slow. Let me just pull up the email. They sent me the email like two days ago, but I haven't even opened it because A, I wanted to film this video and have an actual like reaction in creating the account. But the second reason was just because like I mentioned earlier, I wanted nothing to do with school related stuff. So way to go me. Hello Marjorie. Welcome to your online learning platform. We are excited for you to begin working and discover the benefits of online learning. So that was interesting. Um, now it says log into your courses and it has a username and password. I'm just gonna log into that. I did not think I was gonna be able to log in on the first try. Free, bookmark the login page. Uh, great, unfortunately, it doesn't have me enrolled in any classes so I have no idea what classes I'm gonna be taking. Am I kind of concerned and confused as to why I don't know what classes I'm taking this year? Yes. Am I gonna stress about it? Probably, but I really shouldn't. Time for the orientation slides and the orientation webinar. So it's gonna take like 20 minutes, so I'll be back when I'm done. 
So it is the next day and it's August 28th. I have two appointments today, one at four o'clock to get new glasses and another one at six o'clock. And that one is a hair salon appointment because I am gonna be chopping off my hair. I am at the point where I'm getting kind of tired of my long hair. Throughout the years, I have had pattern and it's kind of a tradition by now i let my hair grow out completely and then when i get tired of it i just chop it all off and then i do that over and over again you gotta keep the streak going you know i'm not quite sure if i'm gonna film any of it because i am really awkward when it comes to filming in public places so hopefully i get some shots on my phone this is like the worst angle possible so i'm so sorry about it kind of just squished Anyways, it is now Sunday, the day before my first day of school, the first day of my senior year of high school, and I got my hair cut. Um, I don't know if I like it or not. I kind of hate it sometimes, I kind of love it sometimes. It could work if I style it, but I just haven't, like, straightened it or curled it yet. What kind of bothers me is, like, how it kind of goes, like, whoop. It makes me feel like I'm a mom, and I, I'm not a fan of that. I don't know, but if you guys have any tips, like if you have short hair and you have tips on how to like make it stop curling inwards and outwards, um, just let me know because that's kind of getting on my nerves. But like, I like it. I do, but like, sometimes I don't. Right now, I am about to do a face mask. I'm mostly doing this to relax and calm myself down because I have no idea what's happening tomorrow. I know I'm starting my first day tomorrow, but I have no knowledge of what classes I'm taking. I've been emailing my guidance counselor back and forth and he kept on saying, don't worry, you'll know your schedule before school starts. It's the day before school. School starts in less than 24 hours. Do I know my schedule? No. And I'm a person that likes to plan ahead of time that's why on my list for things that I wanted to get done was a little schedule because I like block scheduling I'm pretty sure that's what it's called just because I feel like I'm more productive that way but I can't do that if I don't know my classes and apparently I won't know until tomorrow because the classes go active and that's when it starts popping up in my account I created a little DIY face mask that I saw on YouTube I'm more into making my own face mask rather than buying them is that weird? yeah, uh, probably but I made this one and it had good reviews, but it looks really disgusting. It's mostly because of the aloe vera though. It only has two ingredients, which is aloe vera and instant coffee. So I'm just gonna put that on my face. I don't know how to like, put my hair up. This was a scrunchie, but my mom, like, I don't know what she did to it. I let her borrow it. Oh, no, it didn't fit. I wanted to see if it fit my head so I can use like a headband. Yeah, we're good, okay. My baby ponytail. Now it's time to put this lovely concoction on my face. I'm just gonna use my hands. It's gonna get a bit messy, but I don't wanna go downstairs to get a paintbrush or something. Ew, this feels so weird. Do I just slap it on my cheek? Can you hear the bubbling noise it's making? Okay, I don't know how to apply this without anything tricking. This is so gross. I now have it on my face and I look horrifying. The instructions say to leave it on for like 20 minutes, so it's 1.34, so I'll be taking it off around 2 o'clock. Let's just have a little chat now that we're here. First of all, tomorrow is my first day of school, and like I said, I am kind of freaking out about it because number one, it's my first day of senior year. I do know that I'm going to have less classes, so I'm not too stressed about classes and like assignment-wise, but I'm stressed over the fact that I don't know what classes I'm having. It's just weird to think that tomorrow is going to be my first, my my last first day of high school ever unless I fail and second of all I don't know I just feel like it's really weird like this year is gonna be really weird for everyone just because we are a lot of us at least are doing online or like a hybrid learning if you're a freshman I'm sorry that you are going through this I feel like it's the worst for freshmen right now because they're starting high school online or in a hybrid learning so they won't get to know the building as much as any other grades it's already stressful to start high school as a freshman without all of the problems and issues issues and everything that's going on with the virus. The funny thing is that before this whole thing started, I was already considering doing online school. So this kind of just made me take online school. I honestly have nothing else to say, so I'll just be back when I take off the face mask. It is a tad bit later, it is like 2 o'clock right now and I washed off the face mask and surprisingly my skin feels so refreshed and it really woke me up. So I would recommend that face mask even though it looks disgusting. That would probably be one of the only reasons that I wouldn't do it again. That is all I'm going to be doing to prepare for my last first day of school.
which is tomorrow i originally had a lot more things to get done before school started but obviously i can't bullet journal a schedule without knowing my schedule beforehand that's gonna be it for the video and i hope that you guys have a great year and let me know in the comments down below when you guys are starting or if you guys already started school and what you guys are doing for school online hybrid or if you guys are going fully back i know some schools are doing that in some states mine isn't like anywhere no schools around me are doing that so if you are i would be interested in knowing what states or cities are opening up their schools yeah i wish you guys all the luck this year and i'll see you in the next video which is hopefully gonna be a get ready with me vlog for the first day Thank you.